I think we're live. I haven't done one of these for ages and I thought I'd say hello and we're sort of upright, which I'm not used to doing. I'm sort of more of a, um, but there you go. Um, thought I'd say hello. Getting on with this, which you haven't seen for ages, which has been, um, I'll be honest with you, perfectly honest with you. I've this is, this is, um, sort of sort of working now the door opens it's a shame i can't get a bit further away from it i don't like this can i zoom back out a bit anyhow uh door opens which is great and that's sorted but it isn't just that the the i'm na now making the cabinet around it because this opens as well so that's pretty cool and you can see crafty little pin sticking out the top and a little bit of fluff over there. Anyhow, that's looking good. Timbers are over here for that. And these are the uprights on the two sides and the back corners. These are those I'm just going to start marking out. And I can't mark out to length because my timber's a little bit, just a little bit warped, a little bit twisted. So these are going to be worked out to shoulders. All dovetails on the ends of all these, so I'm going to have some fun putting these down here and dovetailing those because the dovetails will be more or less touching the floor, I think. Let's have a look. There's my, there's my mark. So that'll go down there. Oh, it's not quite touching the floor. That's all. Oh, that'll be easier. So, yeah, shoulders on there to sort out and then dovetails on the end. And then I can cut that out. And once these dovetails are done, that would be great. Um, did a little bit on this yesterday while I was waiting for the guys. Uh, after I'd done some on that and I just thought, I need headspace. I need to just do something else with it. Um, did an interesting bit on this, video on this. And found in the comments that a lot of people talk about these because there's a lot of these that have problems with the... Um, adjustable mouth and I'll quickly tell you what's going on let me get a screwdriver screwdrivers not there let's use this one this is part of the problem this is part of the problem the problem with these is the screwdriver is so big that people over tighten that screw and I'm going to do a fix for it and I'm going to do a fix that I think will be quite clever you let me you tell me i mean go into the comments now and, and let me know the because i mean look at it it's it's blooming huge to do that screw as you can see this has all been this has all been sealed now if you watch the video it comes out on sunday morning if you watch that video you'll see the effort i've gone to to correct this but what i'm thinking about doing what the plan is to restore this to original condition and do you know repair re restoration get it working restore it get it nice take it up to a certain point then i'm going to do another video where i start customizing it and making it this was second hand it was a fraction of the cost of a new one and i want to make them cool i want you know i remember these when in the in the i seen one of these in the 80s and it was on my school teacher's woodworking bench. And it was just so cool because you've got all of the, the castellations and you've got all this going on and it's lignum vita and he'd say, well, it's the heaviest wood and it is sinking water. And it's all those things that get you into it. But this mechanism is, is brilliant. Designed in 1952 by uh, Carl Emmerich. Um, I don't think this is set up properly. I will clean all this up. It'll all get done. Um, but what I've thought about for there, I mean, that slot, look how much movement there is in that slot compared to actually how much movement there is below. I mean, it, it is crazy. That's it. And that's about two mil. And it's touching the blade. So what's the point in having two mil of adjustment there and what have we got up here by the time that's in 12 mil so there's a 12 mil gap there there's no point there's absolutely no point so i think i might take that out 
I think I'm going to make have one of these custom made. And rather than a screw, I'm thinking of having like a knurled, a knurled upright. Let me have a look on here. Let's look at other planes. You can see what I mean. Here you go. Look at these. There's a Norris. There's a Norris. Just a nice little knurled knob. There's another nice one there. This one's... Uh, we don't know what this one is. I haven't found out. Um, but a nice knurled knob. A bit like on the top of there. Uh, I know. I know. Something like that little beauty in there. That's the Calvert Stevens. So something like that. God, that's blooming heavy. Something like that on the top so that you can just do it with your fingers and the slot not be as long. Well, if Robert's watching, what do you think, Robert? It makes sense to me. Um, take that out, reduce it. Another part of the problem, which I didn't mention in the video, but it'll get mentioned at a later date. I mean, it's obvious when you sit here and stand here and look at it. All the pulling is at the front. It's not in the middle of the, it's not in the middle of the, the infill piece. So that's a shame. They could have pulled that further back. And I'm not going to do it on this one because it's already in the, it's already done. And I've, I've, it, as I say, it's a restoration job. But if that was a bit further back and that was there, it wouldn't pull in the middle. And on the video, you'll see it was, there's more, um, there was more of a depression where it's been, it'd been an impression, I should say, on the front there and nothing on the back there, which means over tightened, this had come out gaps in here oh you wait till you see it anyhow it's all sealed now which is great and it feels better it feels um and this is another part of the problem they don't seal these things so in the video you'll see me towards the end get a first coat inside there because it was just dry as a bone and and it's beach. no this one's cherry i shouldn't, I shouldn't say that this is beach so beach with uh with the timber as dry as a bone i mean it's just ridiculous it just absorbs moisture then doesn't fit anyhow on sunday 6 a.m let me know what you think i don't know whether this video is going to work or stay out there or whatever but i've been rattling way too long let me know in the comments what you think thanks